In this video, I will ask you for your opinion. And of course, you do not have to provide it. That's understandable. You can always hit the old thumbs up button. But uh, just kind of wanted to get your opinion on this type of stairway. And I'll share my opinion with you also. And it's kind of like the LVL stringers and um, treads versus inch and an eighth plywood with conventional lumber for stringers. And of course, I've never built a stairway like this. It might be a little overkill. And uh, but again, uh, it seems like that's where we're heading with some of this stuff, especially on YouTube. I come across stuff that, uh, you know, you know, regular three quarter inch plywood for treads and risers with three stringers on a three foot wide stairway seems to have worked for years. And uh, but maybe it's not. Maybe we got to go to some heavy duty stuff. Let's, let's uh, hear your opinion on it. So this stairway here, the one I came across on YouTube, had LVL stringers, construction standard risers, uh, maybe two by eights ripped down. And then, of course, it had LVL treads and it looked like they put adhesive on everything. Nice to put adhesive on the back of the risers. And if they didn't, they didn't. Um, I put it in in uh, my uh, in my illustration here. Uh, if you're trying to eliminate st stair squeaks or build a heavy duty stairway, the adhesive is going to definitely be a must. I cannot provide you with a type of adhesive for this. Um, you'll have to do your own research on that. I try not to provide product information on the channel. I provide you with something that doesn't work. And who's the first person you're going to get mad at? Me. So, and of course they nailed it something like this, put the nails in to the uh, risers and, uh, and then of course nailed the back of it here. So all of this kind of makes sense. Seems like it would be a heavy duty stairway and of course it looked like it in the video also. And of course the challenger to that stairway, and I've built plenty of stairways like this, Regular construction standard lumber, Douglas fir, southern pine, 2x12s. And uh, of course, it's three foot wide. We have one stair stringer in the center now. Three quarter inch plywood or OSB for the risers. Put our adhesive on, put it in the back there. Another look at it. Put our inch and an eighth uh, plywood or OSB treads on. So we got three quarter inch risers, inch and an eighth OSB or plywood for the treads. The nailing would be something like this. And of course, you could always put some nails in the risers if you wanted to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Could just be another squeak. The glue or the adhesive should work. Hold it down, hold it together. Of course, you can nail it um, from the back also with inch and an eighth. Use some screws, whatever you want. Um, staples would work good also if you had some type of a maybe inch and a half uh, staple um, in the back. And of course, the staples would work fine in, in the front here also. So uh, if you need more information on the staples, maybe I can provide that. Leave a question in the comment area and I'll try and make something on that. Uh, that might require another video um, to make it. But anyway, this is it. I have built plenty of stairs like this, and they are extremely solid stairs. I can't see them squeaking. Not saying that they won't. I, I was the one who built the stairs and left and never came back. Um, but uh, let me know. Let me know what your opinion is. Uh, is something like this going to be fine? Or do we need to start uh, building stairs with uh, inch and three quarter thick risers. Uh, let me know.